We really do spend a lot of time thinking. Thinking about our future, thinking about our husband or our wife. We're always thinking about how to make more money or maybe how to save more money. There is almost never a moment in time when we're not thinking. But what if your thoughts were exposed for everyone to see? What if your thoughts were on full display? Would they be shameful thoughts? Would they disturb many people? Would they reflect a godly character? Hebrews chapter 4 verse 13 says, Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of Him to whom we must give account. Now, take a minute to examine your thoughts and then ask yourself, Why do I think the way I do? Does it line up to the Word of God? Does it glorify the Lord? And I say this because what you think is what you become. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. That's what the Bible says. In other words, your thoughts manifest. So then let me ask you this. Do you regulate your thought life? Do you pay attention to what you're thinking? Do you pay attention to the kind of thoughts that you dwell on? Are you aware of the things that influence your thinking? There's a story I once heard of a man who went to his pastor privately and he told him that he needed some help. He needed some counseling. And this particular man was very frustrated. He said to his pastor, I'm doing everything I can to think right. I'm doing my best to be a godly man, but I'm always fighting lustful thoughts. And he went on to explain that at times, these thoughts haunt him so much that he doesn't even need to see a woman for these thoughts to be triggered. They can come right before bed, or they could come on the drive into work. So the pastor prayed with this man. He gave him scriptures to dwell on, he encouraged him to do all he could to fill his mind with pure and holy thoughts. And then one day, by pure coincidence, the pastor saw this man's car at the local grocery store. The windows were slightly open, and the man was still sitting inside. Now, the first thing the pastor picked up on was the music that this man was playing. And as soon as the pastor went up to the driver's door to say hello, this man jolted up from his seat and slammed the off button on his car radio. The pastor paused for a moment and simply said, What you feed is what will grow. If this is the type of music that you're listening to, this sexually suggestive music with these very descriptive lyrics, then this is what's polluting your mind. You see, the lesson here is that this man had a problem which he was unknowingly feeding. The music he was listening to, it was all about sex and lust. Therefore, his mind was polluted. His mind was plagued with lustful and sinful thoughts. And it was all because of the type of music that he was constantly exposing himself to. So, think about that in your own life. What influences your thoughts? What gates are you opening in your thought life? And so the question is, how do you pick yourself up? How do you renew your mind? Psalm 119 verse 9 says, How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. If you want to keep your way pure, Guard it according to God's word. Now let's pray. Lord Jesus, we come to you now, giving you honor and glory and praise. God, you're worthy of all our praise. Lord, I want to be all in for you. I want to honor and obey you with every part of my life. Lord, I pray now in agreement with everyone listening. 
May our thoughts be dominated by the Word of God. May our thoughts be dominated by heavenly things. Lord, destroy our old patterns of thinking and transform our minds. Help us to cast down every negative thought, Lord. Help us to cast down those thoughts of defeat and the thoughts that we have that discourage us. Let our minds be fixed on what your word says about us. May we know our identity in Christ. May we know that our strength is drawn from Christ. God, your word says in Romans 12, verse 2, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Transform our minds, Lord. Renew our minds. Clear out every toxic thing in our thinking. Help us to stop dwelling on the negative. Help me to hold fast to what is true and not to waver on the things that matter to you. Father, help me to cut off all other masters, whether it be wealth, prosperity, popularity. God, I pray that whatever it is that rules me, whatever it is that has power over me, May you break it if it doesn't please you. God, I lay it at your feet. Break every chain that is holding me. Take my heart because it's rightfully yours, King Jesus. As I go through all the highs and lows of life, don't let me become lukewarm. God, don't let me become indifferent to your grace and your mercy and your perfect plan. Make me a passionate servant in your kingdom, Lord. I know that time is short. And at the end of my life, Lord Jesus, or when you return, I want to be found serving you. Lord, I want to be found serving you with all my might, not wasting time on worthless things. Give me the courage to let go of the people and the things that hinder my walk with you. Because you are worth much more than anything in this world. You are my life. Lord, help me to love you above everything else I hold dear. I fully devote myself to you right now, Lord Jesus. I desire to serve you only. I surrender my whole life to you. I will no longer set my mind on earthly comfort or pleasure or anything else. Instead, I will live to know you and to make you known to everyone around me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.